I think, you know, especially in the church, we've seen the arts and creativity kind of be relegated to maybe an extra thing, a side thing, uh, if we have time and, you know, it's not been a central, it's not been a central theme. And I think that there are reasons for that because beauty can't be contained and beauty does change the world. And beauty uh, operates outside of the confines of man-made religion. So it can't be controlled. And the lovers of beauty won't be controlled, right? So that can be pose a issue for a system that depends on things being a certain way. It's okay if I push the envelope in here today. I was born to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> Um, those who were born in Zion will not be contained and they won't be confined and they will redefine and they will define culture. I, some of you might know or be familiar with kind of one of the, the themes of my life and what I teach on is Zion and Zion people and the ways and the weapons of Zion and how that all works and looks and, uh, and why and all of the things about that. And so I want to talk about the power of beauty, but I want to talk about the power of beauty and its intrinsic connection to Zion. You know, things have shifted in the earth. Can you feel it? There has been a shift even just recently, major shift, and you can feel it. You can feel the energy of it in the earth. There's it is a major, major shift. And we are uh, going headlong into a culmination. And that culmination looks like the manifestation of justice. Now, what is justice? My, my definition that I, this is just my definition of justice I've used for years. The making of all of the wrong things right and all of the dark things light, right? That's justice. So what was the greatest act of justice, uh, the manifestation of the greatest act of justice on the earth? cross right we'll come back to that but things have shifted and um, it's long been time for the creatives to rise up for the creators to rise up and you know and we work with creatives and we're all about the creatives and you know I talk about poetry I've been a worship leader for a long time and um, sort of pushing the envelope in those spaces but the thing is the message to creatives is actually a message to all creators created in the image of the creator right because we're all creators so essentially we're all creatives we talk about creatives proper those who are making beauty but creators no matter what sector you're in when you're moving in the realm of creativity you're making beauty I mean this is hard for me, but like if you're an accountant, there's beauty there. 
right? There's beauty there. I'm not a numbers person. <laughs> not my strength. <laughs> but I can see beauty there. And the thing is, we like to separate things out, but the numbers are all in the makeup of what you see here. All of this. Numbers. Numbers. Design. Water. Numbers. Fibonacci sequences. Numbers. Flowers. Numbers. But with this shifting that's been happening in the earth and not just this most recent shift that I have very much felt. I feel it every single day. Every single day, all day, I feel it. It grips me. But I've been calling for the creatives to rise. We've been calling, right, for years. The forerunners have been calling for the creatives to rise that it's time, but why? And I hope that maybe today I can fill in some blanks for us and make your life make a little more sense.